De Linio, De Santos, De Oliveira. This is Nottingham Forest's latest signing in the January transfer window, the second signing we've made from Palmeiras, one of the biggest clubs in Brazil. If we thought Scarpa was something to look forward to, then I have a very good feeling this guy is going to be exactly the same, if not more. This is a man that's been linked with Arsenal, Barcelona and more recently AS Monaco. 21 years of age, a defensive midfielder, he is just signed for Nottingham Forest in an £18 million deal on a six and a half year contract. And in this video, I'm going to go over why I think he's going to be so vital to Forest going forward. And why, unfortunately for us, I feel he's got a huge future ahead of him. If you enjoyed this video, a quick reminder, please hit the like button, subscribe to Rads if you're new. Greatly appreciated. Let's get to 5k subscribers as soon as possible. And let's talk, shall we? So going back to the start, Delineo started his youth career at Bahia and he also went on to join Jacuipense and Cajazeiras in 2017. I do hope I pronounced those right, I do apologise if I've got those pronunciations wrong, but I'm not Portuguese. He would only make one senior appearance for Cajazeiras, but in 2020 he joined Palmeiras on loan, initially to be part of the youth team, he would play for the under-20s and the under-17s as well until in September 2020, he made his senior debut, and it was only just a few days after that that he signed a five-year permanent contract at the club. For the rest of that season, he'll go on to feature quite a lot, and even more in the second, and in his third season, he played an integral role in Palmeiras' success. In fact, he made 56 appearances in just one season, which is insane. So in his time at Palmeiras, he made 141 appearances, scored 12 goals and got 9 assists. He won one Brazilian league title, two Copa Libertadores titles, and he also won the Brazilian Cup over there. Now, it's also worth mentioning that in his final season, he got into the team of the year. So we've got a real player on our hands here. At 21, he's already won all of that and done all of that. But what is he like as a player? Now, bear in mind... I've seen all of this in YouTube highlight reels. They're not entirely accurate, but based on what I have seen, he looks like a seriously exciting player. In my opinion, I would call him a very physical, skillful midfielder, got a very strong tackle on him. Most of his goals are from very late runs into the box. If you look at a highlight reel that I watched of him, every goal is very, very close range shots. In fact, some of them aren't even shots, it's just bundled over the line. Forward thinking kind of player, as soon as he's on the ball, he's, he's, he's got that drive to him. He's trying to get the ball up the pitch as soon as possible, and he's very comfortable in doing it. He can get out of very tight situations, very pretty quick, I'd say, as well. And he can do some great long balls, and he just looks really exciting. He's got that classic Brazilian flair to his game, very exciting times. He's left footed, he can actually play in central midfield, and to push, he can play as an attacking midfielder, I doubt we're going to see him playing there, if I'm honest, but he is technically someone that can do that. One minor downside is he will have to learn English, but he has got Scarpa to help him out, and even Loddy as well, and just being around the club, he will pick that up, but I don't think it should be too much of an issue. I think, as people say, football's a universal game, so I'm not too worried about that, but it is something he will have to do going forward. So that's what I've picked up on looking at him as a player, but how will he actually fit into this Forest system? In my transfer roundup video, I briefly went over this, but I'm going to just reiterate that I think this could be not only huge for Forest in general, but it could also be huge for a fellow midfielder of ours, Remo Freuler. We see Freuler for Switzerland playing a lot further up the pitch, and it's very, very effective. In four games at the World Cup, he started a goal and he scored a goal, a crucial goal to win Switzerland their final group game. And we see it's very, very effective when Remo plays further at the pitch. And I think Freuler's been an incredibly underrated player for Forest this season. He's gone about his business rather quietly, but I do feel we could actually get even more out of him if he just plays further at the pitch. Not as an attacking midfielder, but just as a central midfielder and one that gets forward a bit more. I think with Delineo sitting behind him and next to probably Ryan Yates, and the fact that you've then got Oh Mangala potentially being on the bench as well as Lewis O'Brien, as well as Colback, as well as Cuarte, that is an unbelievable set of midfielders. And I think another th reason why signing Delineo is so good is because if you look at our midfielders, three of those players are over 30. 
you got Foyle who's 30, you got Kiwate who's 32 I believe, Colback's 33. So we need someone that's a lot younger than those three to come in and make that position their own going forward. So as good as this system is, I think that this system could be even more effective and exciting to watch. Seeing Foyle getting further at the pitch, Delineo doing more defensive work and Yates he can just do a bit of everything. I think that's a really exciting midfield there. If we profile all the players, you've got Ryan Yates who can do pretty much anything. You've got Mangala who's probably a bit more defensive but he can get forward if he wants to but most of the time you see him just being in midfield and nowhere else. You've got Freuler who is more of an all-round player in my opinion. O'Brien a bit more attacking minded. Colback's more defensively minded so is Cuarte and Delineo seemingly is as well. So you've got a pretty nice balance uh, in that midfield. I'm really excited about him, but are you? Let me know in the comments below. How do you think Delineo is going to fit in? Do you think he should be playing every week? Do you think we should try and bed him into the team? How do you see it going for Delineo? I'm very excited. So if you have enjoyed this mini scout report on Delineo, our brand new signing from Palmeiras, then please hit the like button, subscribe to Rads if you're new. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed. Up the Rads.